Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'll talk about some of the key components of Jira workflow. So to get started, the first thing you need is the Jira instance and administrative privileges to start working on the workflow. So I'm already logged into my Jira instance, which I have installed locally on my machine. And I'll go to the administrative section. So if you go to the right hand side uh, uh, in the cogwheel, you'll see the drop down and click on issues to go to the workflows. Now in the issues um, tab here, you will see the workflow section. Uh, click on workflows and I'll create a dummy workflow to explain you about the key components of a workflow. So what I'll do is I'll click on add workflow and give a name. So I'll say Mumba app new workflow and click on add. So now you'll see the workflow window got open and at the moment this workflow is inactive because it's not associated with any of the project and hasn't been activated. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll first understand what are the key components of workflow and then we'll talk further about um, the details, the transitions and other stuff in the workflow and design uh, a nice and um, uh, nice workflow for for a particular project as per the needs of the project. Now, as soon as you create a new workflow there, uh, it opens a, a workflow page wherein you can view the workflow in the diagram or if you toggle uh, in the text, it will show you in the tabular format. So I'll switch to diagram uh, to make it more clear and show what are the default states uh, in the workflow. So at the moment, as soon as you create a workflow, it will create a state for you, okay? Or the statuses. So the key components of a workflow, there are four key components of a workflow. The first one is the statuses, which basically means where your particular issue is within the workflow and in this workflow this Mumba app new workflow your open um, if you if you hover over open uh, that is your status and this line here that create is a transition so if you click on that line that's a transition so that's the another key component so first key component of a workflow is the status which means where your issue is and the second key component is the transition, which basically explains how your issue has transitioned from one status to another status. So if we talk about very basic workflow, so what I'll do is I'll quickly create uh, a basic workflow. So I'll create one more status. I'll say click on, um, I'll say status, and I'll say um, work in progress and then uh, I'll click on new status and click on add and you have to choose the category so in Jira there are mainly three categories that you can uh, specify your statuses in first one is to do um, in progress or done so uh, open is basically wherein you are saying that the issue type is ready to be picked up to work on. So work in progress will mostly um, be, you know, like in progress. So I'll choose the category and I'll say work in progress. And then I'll add another status, uh, which will say work completed, All right? And I'll say new status and I'll map that category to done, okay? So now I have created three statuses. First one is open, work in progress, and work completed. Now what I'll do is I'll add transition. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just, maybe I'll just say allow all statuses to transition for now, and then select the other one, and I'll say allow all transitions. Okay, and same thing with the open status as well right so at the moment this is the basic or the most default um, workflow that I have created 
to give you a brief introduction about the key components. So the first component was the status, which is open work in progress or work completed, which means where the particular issue type is. So for example, you are working in a development project. There is a story which is in open state. That means that story lies, uh, the status of that story is in open state. When that story transitions from open to work in progress, that's basically saying how that story went from uh, open status to work in progress, which means that the BA would have worked on the story um, after the sprint planning, that story would have been picked in the sprint and project manager or, or um, basically um, project manager would have picked it in the sprint and then uh, assigned to developer and then developer would have transitioned it from open to work in progress when he started working on that particular story. So that is the transition that happened from one state, one status to another. And that's another key component of the workflow. So transitions basically say how an issue moved from one state to another and that's second key component. Third key component of a workflow is assignee. So which says who is responsible for the particular issue type when they are uh, when they are working on it. So in, in common software development project, uh, an issue if it is if it is a story or task, if it is picked by a developer, then the assignee is a developer whosoever is working on that particular issue. So assignee is the third key component of a workflow. Assignees can be assigned automatically in the workflow um, with, with the workflow setup or um, you can assign when, when an issue is transitioned from one status to another, assignees can be allocated during that transition by the person who is moving that issue from one status to another. Now the fourth key component of a workflow is resolutions, which uh, which signifies why a particular issue moved to a closed state. So for example, in this workflow, if a if an issue moves from work in progress to work completed, that means there has some action or there has been some resolution um, being done for that particular issue. And that is why it moved from one state to another. So resolution states why an issue has moved from one state to another. So these are the four key component of a workflow. And to start with open work in progress, work completed are the statuses, which signify where your particular issue is. If you talk about these arrows, the small arrows where, uh, where it says all issue type transitioning to the statuses, these are the transitions and assignee is the person who is working on a particular issue or whom the issue has been assigned and resolution is basically saying why an issue moved from one status to another status so that is pretty much all about this particular session on um, key statuses of a workflow in the next tutorial we will dig more deeper and understand about different um, details or try to design uh, your workflow in more detail. Thank you for watching.